I just came to the point where Michael discovered the secret of Hannah and I don't know how to explain my feelings right now but it definitely isn't I'm definitely not happy about it oh I'm actually sad about it and I don't know I feel I don't know, I'm about to cry right now and hindi ko rin alam kung bakit kung bakit yun yung nasi-feel ko hindi ko rin alam kung bakit feeling ko mabigat yung nararamdaman ko Hey guys, so I'm gonna check in with you right now. Um, it's already around 1 a.m. on a Friday. It's April 3rd, and by the way, it's our fifth anniversary of Manjawa. So, anyway, I'm still wide awake because I'm reading this freaking book. Um, I am on page 119 and I think I am halfway through the book and I like this book so much. I love Junior so much. Junior is the protagonist in the story. So, si Junior, he's, I think he is a 7th grader student. He's 14 years old. His ethnicity is Indian and they are living in a reservation for Indian tribes in America and this boy he wants to like prove something for himself or because he's smart and he has dreams on his own and alam na mahirap sila alam niya yung kalagayan nila and he accepts it fully but Hindi niya sinisisi yung mga magulang niya because of that. So, he decided to transfer to uh, a white, all-white American school, which is near their reservation. And I am learning so much about their culture and how Native Americans or Indians are being accepted in America in general. This now gives me a glimpse of what or who they are as Native Americans and it's so interesting for me because I've just learned this today and I don't I am super stressed right now because of what's happening in my country in our country in the government and the crisis and the pandemic and all that stuff and well, I just really would like to relax right now and forget everything so I'm not sure if I can finish this tonight because it's just like a hundred pages stuff but i'm sure that i can still read a few pages because i'm still not sleepy at all anyway when you come came up late i'm just gonna take you tomorrow when i would good night and see you tomorrow night. Currently, it's um, 9 p.m. or 8 p.m. or something, but 
sorry po, ngayon lang po ako nag-update kasi I did so many things today. Um, it's my boyfriend and I's anniversary for today. So, because we're not going out somewhere, we thought of just staying in and cooking food for my family. So, we cooked for the whole afternoon. Okay. In the morning pala, I'm sorry. In the morning, I edited my, my April TBR video. It's already up on my channel. Please do check it out. The link will be on the screen or in the description box. And then, in the afternoon, we cooked. He cooked lunch and I cooked merienda. I cooked pasta and carbonara and tuna pie. So that's what we did. And that's what I did for the whole day. That's why I didn't really read since I woke up this morning. I'm so sorry about that. I thought I'm gonna finish this book because I really would love to finish this right now. Gusto mo na siyang matapos guys. Sobrang konti na lang. Look at that. Jeez. And because I'm so interested with the story and because I like to slay this bungis-ngis, that's why. Um, pero I don't think that it's possible tonight because Money Heist is out. <laughs> out in part for the Money Heist. And I'm so excited to continue that show on Netflix tonight. So, hmm, baka hindi ko to matapos tonight kasi gusto kong matapos yung Money Heist ngayong gabi. So, yun lang. Anyway, baka yun yung gawin ko. Hindi pa ko sure. Just in case. Just in case matapos ko siya or sipagin akong basahin siya while I'm watching. <laughs> Hindi ko alam. <laughs> Pero yun. Just in case lang naman. I'm gonna update you late. I'm gonna check in a little bit later. But I still have time for tomorrow. So let's see what's gonna happen. See ya. Hello. Good morning or good afternoon. I'm not totally sure but I think it's past 11 in the morning. I don't know what time it is guys. I have no idea. But today is Saturday. I haven't vlogged for the morning yet. But I finished the book. I finished it like an hour ago or two hours ago. I forgot. But I finished this one. And I love this story so much. Um, I super appreciate the way that this book was written. Um, ng sinabi ko nung last clip ko yata last night that I super love this book because of the writing and because of the illustrations in the book. So I'm gonna show you a few. There is this one illustration here that's, that really stood out for me. It's the difference between a white American and an Indian or a Native American as they call themselves. So anyway, I finished the book. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars in Goodreads. If you're familiar with the Indian movie Every Child is Special, it's medyo ganun yung, yung ambience niya para sa akin. So, this is a really good book. The child here, Junior or Arnold, his real name, is so special to me. I think that he is really, really special and the author wrote his story in a very beautiful way. A funny way but with deep sense but here's the thing i found out the author of the book sherman alexi is actually a sexual harasser uh, according to my articles he is taking advantage of women who are aspiring authors and writers na lumalapit sa kanya. and that is just so disturbing for me sobrang na disappoint ako kasi feeling ko ang ganda ganda ng book and i love it so much but then this author just ruined it for me he just ah but I still love this book. I still love this character. I think it's exceptional. One of the best books. But I gave it 4 out of 5 stars because I think na masyadong makes yung mga kwento for me to dwell or to be so much invested in the story. I think that the chapters are too short for me to get invested in the story. So that's why. But anyway, that's it. So, I'm moving on to my next book. And here's the thing. I should be reading, I'm gonna show you the other book. I should be reading this one kasi uh, gusto ko siyang basahin na because this is for my tikbalang prompt and I have Someday by David Levstan for my manananggal prompt. So I still have two more books to read but 
The problem is, I'm still on a first few pages of this book and I'm not quite feeling it. Maybe because this is written in a classic way. This was published in 1962. It has been reprinted. The same edition was reprinted in 2005. So nothing changed here. It's still in a classical writing and that is my freaking weakness. I know to myself that I'm not gonna read it. I know to myself that I'm just gonna DNF this book. Alam ko na hindi ko siya tatapusin at all. So I thought, bakit hindi ko na lang siya paltan? Kesa masayang yung time ko to like trying to read this book when I just really can't read it. I just, I can't. So I went here upstairs in my room and I looked for a book that has an animal, land animal on the cover because that's for Tikbalang, kaya ito yung napili ko because there's a horse there. Pero, ito lang yung nakita ko. So, wait. I'm gonna look, kasi may nakita ko isang book. So, titingnan ko kung pwede rin yan. I'm just gonna check. Wait lang. I thought there is a land animal here because it's, it's a, a, a vast land. <laughs> I'm hoping that this has because I really want to read this so bad. Guys, I'm almost ready for this book, but it's just so big. I don't think that I could finish this one until tomorrow or until Monday. That's my goal for me to finish this readathon, and it's so freaking big, so no. This is my only choice, so I have to preempt myself from reading someday, and I chose this book, Sometimes We Tell the Truth, by Kim Zarins. Um, where is the land animal? It's here on the back of the cover. There you go. And, tinignan ko kung ilang pages siya, guys. It's 400 freaking 37 pages. Am I correct? Yeah. 420 plus pages. And that's a lot. That's really a lot for me right now. I need to finish the readathon this week because I still have a lot of things to do next week. So, ayoko na siyang ipagpa next week pa. So, tinignan ko kung, ah, sige, ayusin ko yung pagkikwento ko kasi ang gulo ko talaga magkwento. Sorry ah. Okay, anyway, I found out that this is good for tikba lang. Pero, inisip ko, hindi ko to kayang matapos ito at saka yung someday kasi yung someday around 391 pages siya. 700 pages. I cannot finish that many pages in two days until tomorrow. So I thought, baka pwede rin to sa manananggal. And you know what guys? It is! It could be! It could happen! Okay? This is more than two point of views. We have here multiple point of views. Because this is a compilation of stories from different students. Okay, madami siya guys. So medyo na-modify natin ng konti yung manananggal. So I'm gonna read this and consider this na two prompts. Let's try. Let's see. But I'm gonna start this one today. So, yun lang. Ang haba na kung sinasabi ko. No? Anyway, see ya later. I'm gonna check in after I've done a few pages. Manunod mo na ako ng money heist. Bye! Hi, guys. What's up? Welcome to another episode of Bathroom Series. Shut up. Joke lang. So, every time na mag-update ako sa inyo, guys, lagi na lang ako naka-bathroom because I just took a bath. And it's around 7 p.m. na siguro. But I'm just gonna update you with the books that I'm reading right now. Earlier, na, um, in my previous clip, I mentioned that I'm changing my last book for the readathon. I mentioned na babasahin ko yung sometimes we tell the truth. We <laughs> sometimes we tell the truth for Manananggal and for Tikbalang. So I'm gonna hit those two prompts and just like literally ignore these two books from on my TBR. I'm decided already, but while I was looking at this book, because it's still on my table earlier, and I'm looking at this book, and then I realized that this could also pass a stick balang. Alam niyo kung bakit? Just look at this book. Tada! <laughs> OMG, I hope that it focus. Anyway, so ayan. Ayan, merong land animal sa cover nitong someday and this is the logo of the publisher, Noth. 
I'm just considering it that way. So because of that small logo of an, a land animal, this is actually a search for this. Um, it's a borzai. I think it's a borzai, and it's like a kind or a breed of dog or something like that. It's a four-legged animal. So final na po. This is going to be the final book for my readathon. So I'm gonna read this for Manananggal and for Tikbalang. It's a final decision. I promise guys, I'm gonna read this until tomorrow. I'm just so excited. I'm gonna dive into this world later because I'm already done with, with watching Money Heist. That's the reason why it just took me four pages of this freaking book today. It's a four page, fourth page pa lang ako. It's because of Money Heist. I finished that freaking show earlier and now that I'm done, I know that I could finish this until tomorrow. So anyway guys, I should go right now and start reading. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna check in again later. Bye! Hey guys, so I'm checking in for an update. I thought na makaka abot ako ng 100 pages last night, but no, I didn't. But I reached around 80 or 70 pages. Hindi ko naman alam. But anyway, right now I'm 100 pages in. Uh, still a long way to go. I think one fourth of the book and. I have some thoughts about the book. I love every day. I love the first book of this series. And even before, I thought na the concept and the storyline is very incredible. It's something that it's unique. It's something na we haven't seen yet or we haven't read yet. So I am fascinated with the story. It's unique for me. It's so creative for me and I love the first book. But in this book, it's just kind of hard for me to grasp the idea of what David Levithan is trying to do. Because first off, the point of view in this in this book is not two, is not three, but it's four. We have the point of view of the main character which is A. So yung yung soul na nagja jump from one body to another every day and then we have the we have the point of view of Rhiannon. Rhiannon is the love interest of A and then we have point of view of Nathan. Nathan is um, a character in the first book kung saan sumanib sa Tagalog sumanib si A don sa body ni Nathan in the first book and then we have the fourth 
perspective, this character is like the villain in the story because this is going to be like a spoiler in the first book. So if you haven't read the first book yet, please skip. So mag skip ka sa timestamp na ilalagay ko sa screen kasi hindi ko alam kung mas spoil ba kayo sa sasabihin ko. So yun. Anyway, so this fourth character is siya yung reverend na minit ni Nathan because di ba si Nathan nagkaroon siya ng malaking issue because A hosted his body in the first book and then there is this reverend na parang sinasabi niya na gusto kong mapaalis yung evil spirit or bad spirit kasi for the reverend merong bad spirit si Nathan merong bad spirit na sumanib kay Nathan kaya ganun yung nangyari and gusto nung reverend na matrack or na track at mapatay yung bad spirit niya. Something like that in the first book. And then later on in the book, like the end of the book, I found out that that reverend is actually like A. Pareha sila ng nature that they jump from one body to another. But the difference is, itong reverend na to, yung kung anong soul man, kung sino mang soul yung sumanib sa kanya, parang nagawa niya ng paraan na makapagstay siya in one body for as long as he likes. That soul, specific soul, Siya yung fourth perspective dito sa someday. And because he is a villain, all his thoughts and actions and behavior is evil. Lahat yun talaga as in evil, pure evil. Like, I don't know how to like explain my feelings about him. Actually, I still have a lot of, like, I still have confused feelings and thoughts about the first hundred pages of the book. I hope that it will get better, but let's see what's gonna happen today. I'm planning to finish this book today, as you all know. So hopefully, I will wish me luck. See you later. Finished a chapter in Rhiannon's perspective and oh boy it's six pages long um I have this love and hate feelings towards Rhiannon because hmm, I'm not comfortable with her situation that she is in a relationship with Alexander but at the same time She's doing something so that A could contact her, something like that. I feel like she's trying to get A back, but at the same time, she doesn't want to lose Alexander, if that makes sense. I'm not comfortable at it, especially when she keeps on mentioning that Alexander is, is like a perfect boyfriend, that he's the kind of boyfriend that takes care of his girlfriend well and treats her well and if you have that kind of boyfriend I'm lost right now but I'm just not comfortable with that situation I hope that that later in the book she will get to decide who she really wants to be with anyway I will get back to you again later but that's my feelings for now just for now Hey, what's up? Yo! Anyway guys, hello! Welcome to another episode of this bathrobe series wherein I give you updates of the books that I'm currently reading in my bathrobe. Char! Anyway, ano ba yan? Ang gulo natin guys. Ayoko lang pala. Ano ba yan? So, anyway. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That's my doggy. What update? I'm on page 300. Five or 306 somewhere around that page and um, I'm nearly done I, I think I'm 90% done with the book because I am less than 90 pages so let me just update you with my thoughts about it because the last update that I had I said that I was confused and I don't like the perspective of like the villain in the story and same as earlier i still don't like him i still don't like the character how the character is being portrayed by the author how he is trying the reader or f not trying but forcing the reader to hate this character by giving me this descriptions and 
I don't know guys, I don't know about you, but for me, like a villain, I mean, the thoughts of the villain doesn't necessarily should be that evil. It's my main problem with the story. Um, second is that while I'm going through the pages in the story, there are many perspectives or POVs that like interrupted the story randomly. Those random people are not even connected to the story, to the, the characters in the story. It's just, I think the author is trying to give the readers like additional information about the situation of A and the villain. Pero in my personal opinion, I don't think that it's necessary. So I'm not sure yet, but that's my thoughts for now. So I'm gonna finish that book tonight. I'm so sure about that. I don't wanna think about that book tomorrow. And I forgot to color this one. I'm on page 300 something. Alam kung evening pa ba or madaling araw na. But anyway guys, it's still the same day. It's still Sunday and um, I'm, funny. <laughs> I'm finally done with my last book. Hooray! OMG! So, I just finished reading Someday by David Levesland just I think a few minutes ago and um it's just so underwhelming to me because maybe because i had really high expectations about the book because it's a sequel to my favorite book and i expected more from it just because i had set that high expectations so i gave it three stars out of five but yeah that's it i already wrote down my like reviews on my Goodreads account so it's not really like a very technical review but it's how I perceive the book so right now I am gonna sleep because it's midnight and finally I'm done so I'm going to give a quick wrap not a really a quick one but I'm gonna give a wrap up of all the books that I've read for this readathon so that's going to be on the next clip which will be tomorrow. So for now, good night and see ya tomorrow.